Hi, I'm Lenny, and I'm on the Teen Advisory Council at the University of Michigan's Adolescent Health Initiative. And I'm here to show you ways to get the most out of your healthcare experiences as a teen. As much as doctors, nurses, and clinic staff want to help, it's also up to you to make sure you get the care you need. Let's drop in on Taylor and her mom visiting the doctor. So how are you two doing today? We're great. Right. And uh, you're in for just a checkup today? Mm -hmm. Yep, Taylor just turned 16, so it's time for her exam. Oh, does that mean you're a uh, junior, Taylor? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. And uh, Taylor, how are, how are things going for you at school? Uh, do you play any sports or anything? She's really good at hockey, and she um, is thinking about doing glee club, right? Oh, do you like to sing? Love it. Okay, all right. Um, and socially, how are things going for you? Do you have a lot of friends, big friend group? She makes friends really easily. She's got a lot of friends. Okay. And Taylor, uh, how about your classes, your grades? How's that going? I'm doing okay, but I've got a big math test next week. And is it okay if we talk alone? Yeah, sure. Uh, we do like to touch base with our teen patients for a few minutes by themselves, if you don't mind. Okay. So I wrote down a list of a few questions. Okay. Uh, fire away. I'll start with the top 10. Can I tell you things that you won't tell my mom? What's covering our insurance? What about birth control? How would I get an STD test if I needed one? Am I getting any shots today? How can I get in contact with you privately if I have other questions? Did you always know you wanted to be a doctor? Okay, let's break this down. You can see that Taylor's mom was stealing the spotlight. It's not her appointment, but some parents have a hard time letting go as their kids get older. Taylor was clearly getting frustrated, but she kept her cool and she arranged some time to speak one-on-one -on -one with her doctor. She brought a list of questions to help guide her through her appointment. She made sure to find out the doctor's confidentiality policy so that she could feel more comfortable being open and honest about her health concerns. Also, many health systems now have electronic patient portals to make it easier for you to manage your own health care. You can log into your private records, send a message to your doctor, or even ask a question. To get started, you'll need an activation code, so ask your doctor's office. Now, let's drop in on Jake for a checkup with his doctor. And finally, uh, it seems like you're due for your HPV vaccine. So uh, just let me prep this shot and we'll get that taken uh, care of. Actually, could we wait on that a little bit? I'm feeling a bit worried about this. What's going on? Um, I don't do super well with needles. Oh, don't worry about that. It's very common to not like needles. What we can do is ice the area a little bit so you don't feel it going in as much. Uh, a lot of people like to be on their phones just to distract them. Or uh, we could even bring in someone to hold your hand. Um, we just want to make sure you feel comfortable. Cool. Um, is there any side effects to the shot? Oh, um, yeah, I don't really have insurance. Jake's situation brought up a few things. When he said that he was feeling anxious, it allowed the doctor to slow down, answer his questions, and make sure he was feeling comfortable. Every person has a right to know what is happening to their body and to have a say in their health care. Medicaid, which is an insurance plan under the government, may be an option if you don't have coverage under your family or work. Also, some health clinics may have sliding scale fees, which means that the services are based on income and can be low cost or even free. As for payments, there are no costs for vaccines for patients under 19, but there are costs for other services. All teens and young adults deserve quality confidential health care services without judgment, but sometimes we need to advocate for ourselves to make sure that this happens. 